If you're having issues with your Home Assistant instance, you might have just run out of disk space, like I have. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna actually fix this problem and then upgrade Home Assistant at the end. Let's hold the intro. So I've gone to the Home Assistant URL, as you can see, just to give you a bit of an idea on the configuration tab. If I click configuration, and then if I go to add-ons, backups, and supervisor, and I click on system, you can actually see that I've got 100% use space. This was due to me being away from the smart home and for some reason the home assistant this space just ballooned. So there's a couple of things to look at really. First is to solve the immediate problem with home assistant um, and then to try and understand how to prevent it going forward. Now if you're not actually 100% but you're still like 80 or 90% I would recommend using a Samba add-on. So if you go to configuration, click on add-ons and you can add an add-on with this button over here at the bottom uh, and then it will appear over here and you can configure it. Basically what this does, it makes you use Home Assistant files like if it was just a file sat on your computer thanks to your network. If I click on the Samba share just to let you uh, understand how this sort of works, you can set it to start and stop all sorts of things. If I click start, you can actually see it's giving me an error, unknown error. And the actual error that I found out was that it was due to this space issues. I couldn't actually uh, set it up. So where can we actually get some immediate space back? First thing I would do is look at your backups. So if you have been taking backups previously, you'll find them under the add-ons backups and supervisor and click on backups and you can see some of the backups that I took and by clearing these out already uh, I think this will be give, giving us a great result. So start with the backups that are the oldest, click delete selected backups, it will give you a little bit of confirmation, click delete. So I've deleted pretty much all backups apart from one. So if I go back to system which is right over here, so surprisingly the disk space is still 100%. So for some reason, we can see the disk space still 100%. So at this point, I'm tempted to do a reboot. This could be a risky operation because it might not actually come up after we have rebooted. One thing I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to look at the file editor first to see if there's some sort of file that ballooned. So clicking on file editor, it's another way that you can explore the home system files. Um, and here, many of the YAML files, you don't really need to worry about because these files are going to be pretty much insignificant. Um, the size that you can see over here, so you can see some of the log files have actually grown significantly in size. You can see the DB. Um, and probably the best way to do this would be just to get the uh, actual amount of KB and convert it so you can get an idea. And other method is to use uh, Visual Studio Code. And actually having a look over here, we've got some uh, Home Assistant DB corruption but that's been going on to 2021-12. So that doesn't seem to be the issue that we're having at the moment. So we can see under www, there's a uh, front door pressed MP4. So every time the front door gets pressed, this records an MP4 file. So you can see that the last doorbell press was on the uh, 10th of September, so very recently. So we could do delete permanently and we can start deleting some of these files. So when I was doing some of the cleanouts, I actually, so while I was doing the cleanout, Home Assistant started responding. So I'm not surprised when it sort of gets 100% memory, that sort of happens. So one course of action now for me is to physically go to actually unplug and reboot it. Hopefully that will clear some memory up, fingers crossed, if not, Hopefully we have a backup somewhere that we can actually use. Okay, we're back. Home Assistant booted up again. Let's see if we can get it. So we're in. Let's immediately go down the configuration. Let's look at that disk space, if it's improved or not. System. Of course, cool, so we can see immediately we've got 40% uh, of free space. Might have been perhaps just the fact that I wasn't rebooting. Maybe it was the backups that were cleaning up. I doubt it. 
because it wasn't that much of a, a difference considering that I actually have around 128 uh, gigs. It's just a precautionary measure. I'm downloading the backup I did uh, back in April from the server. And once that's complete, I'm gonna delete this backup over here. And I'm gonna create another backup. So I keep the space low, I'm gonna create backup. And uh, if you've just started up your system, you're not gonna be able to do it. So uh, just hold on and wait for a second. All of my add-ons actually turned off. So I'm gonna go and re-add them again, or actually restart them. Now that the system booted up properly, we can go and create a backup. So I'm always putting the date, date of today's date, and I'm gonna go for a partial backup. So we're going to be backing up Home Assistant, backing up the folders, the add-ons. Uh, that's good. Actually, probably could be a full backup. So you're just going to create and then wait for it and then download it again. Now we're going to be doing all the many Home Assistant updates I haven't been doing in a while. So I'm going to untick create backup because I already did that. I'm going to go with the Home Assistant Core update um, and we're going from the 2022.4.6 to 2022.9.1. Even if this video is coming to a close, this really doesn't end here. I'm still going to need to find out exactly the reason why 40% of my disk space just vanished just by the fact of Home Assistant being on. I'm going to dig out more about this and I will let you know. Subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed it to find out more about what's going on in the smart home world. Now I'm going to leave you with this video over here and now a Home Assistant video. I'll see you in the next one.